In this video, we will add a domain to our VPS with Centora. Before we begin, you'll want to have both your Dynadot account and your Centora control panel open, and you will want to be logged into both. Okay, so here we have our Centora control panel. To add a domain, we're going to click on the Domains icon in the Domain Management section. Type your domain name into the domain name field. The Create a new home directory option will already be selected for you. Press the Create button. And the status will show as pending while the domain is being added. Next, return to the Home menu. And we're going to want to create DNS records for this domain. In the Domain Management section, click on the DNS Manager icon. Select your domain name from the drop-down menu press the edit button. Centora will create all the default records that you need, so all we really need to do is press the Create Records button. Now here on the A Records tab you can see that custom name servers have been created for us, NS1 and NS2, along with the mail subdomain. If you select MX, you'll see that that record has been created for us as well. You can also add any custom DNS records you might want using these menus. For the purposes of this video, the existing records will be all that we need. Let's go to our Dynadot account now, and from the Domains menu at the top, go ahead and select Name Servers. Now here we can register the custom name servers we've just created. So we'll want to click the Register a Domain Name Server button, and in the Hostname field, enter ns1.yourdomain.extension for this example, I'll be using ns1.nturtle.net. And in the IP address field, enter your VPS IP address. Press Submit. You'll see that the name server has now been added to your list. So now we'll do the second. Uh, again, we'll click the Register a Domain Name Server link. And for hostname, this time use ns2.yourdomain.extension. And for IP address, we will once again enter our VPS IP press submit and you'll see that this name server has been added to the list as well. So lastly we want to connect our domain to the name servers we've created and registered here. So we're going to go back to the domains menu and select manage. You will see your domain names listed here along with their corresponding name server setting. Now if you've just registered your domain you'll see the words Parking" in the name server column. We're going to go ahead and click there and a new page will load with a series of gray tabs. These tabs represent your domain settings options, and you'll notice that your current setting, in this case Dynadot Parking, uh, is indicated here with an asterisk. Since we want to set name servers, we're going to click on that tab. Now as we've already entered these name servers in our account, we're going to be able to scroll down here to option 2 and select them from the drop-down menus. So we'll do that now. Go ahead and press select name servers. And you'll see now that name servers is the current setting used by this domain, uh, as indicated here by the asterisk. So that's all there is to it. Uh, once everything is propagated, you will have successfully connected your domain to your Dynadot VPS with Centora Hosting. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.